My name is Eric Henderson. I'm a computer engineering major and I'm attending Virginia Commonwealth University. We're at the Science Museum of Virginia. We're at the Capstone Design Expo 2015 and I'm presenting my robotic hand. People gather Design Expo to show off the progresses they've made during their senior year, really designing products that are made to help the community. This can be done in a range of ways from theoretical studies that can contribute to more uh, concrete studies later or direct applications like improve robotic processes. The problem I'm trying to solve is that some people try to adapt to prosthetic devices, but they're a little too complicated to master. What we try to incorporate is a simplified approach. We wanted to implement just a subset of three limited grips, a fine pinch, a three-figure grasp or point, and a full closed fist. Based on this model, we can uh, place sensors on the surface of the hand so it's able to actually detect physical objects in the external world. Therefore, it's able to handle and manipulate these objects without crushing them or damaging them. I went into engineering because as a young boy, I always used to see how computers work and I was always interested in how they actually accomplished the things that they did. I didn't understand how something that was made by a human could appear to be smarter than a human. So I wanted to learn how to master this platform and uh, get insight into how I can make this thing do the things that I wanted to do. Engineering is a hot job because you get to work with friends and teams, you get to make a lot of cool objects and toys, and you get to make a lot of money. My name is Cassie Turninch. I study biomedical engineering at Virginia Commonwealth University. We wanted to create a measurement using numerical data that doctors could use to help them diagnose ADHD. Our test consists of the subject wearing glasses that send infrared light to the eye and phototransistors, which are devices that measure the amount of light being absorbed. So when the subject looks one way or the other, it will measure which direction they're looking. Right now, there's a very small amount of research showing that people with ADHD have differences in their eye movements when they read and when they do another test called the anti-saccade test, which is where there's a dot in the middle of the screen, it moves to one side, and the directions are to look the opposite direction. And people with ADHD have trouble suppressing that urge to follow the dot. I initially chose to study biomedical engineering because I really liked learning physics, math, and biology. And I'm so glad that I did because the way that we learn to approach problems is really fun. The VCU School of Engineering has opened up a lot of doors for me and I've been able to participate in a lot of research opportunities. Hi, I'm Zachary Gartrell and I'm a student at VCU. I'm studying electrical engineering. So the problem is there's a lot of wasted energy. Anytime you've got wind blowing, you should be capturing that energy. Our device aims to do that. You see, when the wind blows across it, we convert that into pure electricity. We can use that to charge batteries or charge your cell phone or even power up your AC system so you save energy that way. Our device works on the basic principle of induction. What that means is whenever you shake copper in a magnetic field, electricity comes out. That's where all your electricity comes from. When you go to a power plant, it's a big magnet shaker, essentially. So we've made a real small one that works at a small scale. I love getting a chance to make new things and just understand how things work, and that's what engineering allows me to do. I get to take things apart and see what's in there and break it down and put it back together, and just you understand. And when you understand, you can improve. And when you can improve, you can make a difference. And that's really what I want to do. For more information or to get involved, go to ideastations.org slash science matters.